Welcome everyone, and this week there are several expectations, so be sure you begin early and then spend a little time each day completing these assignments. First of all, take a look at the article or the blog post on integrating your faith with your career. And this is a huge objective that we all hope to accomplish, and many people say they want this to be done but don't know how to do it. If you notice on each of the weekly presentations, I've posted Colossians 317, which serves as a reminder that regardless of what you do, the effort, the drive, the quality of your work, um, everything should be done as if you're working for the Lord. And this article includes some principles that we should all follow regardless, but for the Christian, these should resonate in your work. And then the required readings are listed for you, so be sure you take a look, a look at each one of those and complete those as they apply to the weekly objectives and provide some general knowledge on important topics, so be sure you read each one thoroughly. Now for your assignments this week, I'd like you to begin working on your digital portfolio. And if you just conduct a Google search initially on free blogging platforms, you're gonna find a lot of different options. And rather than just select the first one or a random selection, take a look at each one and take some time to investigate what they offer. Blogger, Wix, Weebly, Ghost, WordPress, any of the other ones, all provide different options and features. And first of all, you shouldn't have to pay for anything. So if some of the services ask that you pay, you'll wanna avoid those. Also, each platform has its own templates, layout, and other integrated content. Think about those. Think about the ease of navigation and accessibility of information when selecting your platform. And consider the purpose of your digital portfolio. Read through the syllabus description for the assignment so you know exactly what needs to be included, and then you can select your platform based on features and simplicity. There may be a learning curve to take into consideration, so if you're unfamiliar with all of this, you're going to have to spend some time learning it. When you find the platform that's best for you, create your blog or your website, use your name, which is typically your last name. And remember, this is a professional digital portfolio, so avoid nicknames or other unprofessional names. And in the 2.1 form, you're going to post the name of the company or platform that you selected and a link where your digital portfolio can be located. I know you're not gonna have anything right now, but um, this is gonna be further developed as we progress through the course. In the 2.2 threaded discussion form, read the guidelines and then reply to the prompt. Respond to the prompt using thorough and comprehensive collegiate level responses. Note the due date for your initial response also and the due dates for your responding to your classmates. Type your response directly into the Moodle window rather than including it in a document and uploading that document. Your initial response is gonna be used as your first blog post to your digital portfolio and then you can simply copy and paste your response into that digital portfolio. Next, select the 2.3 audio recording form. And this opens up another tab that includes a link to the assignment instructions. So be sure you read through those carefully so you have a complete idea of the expectations and the process to follow. What you're gonna be doing for this assignment is making a single audio recording, but I want you to understand how this can be done professionally and continually thinking about an ongoing podcast for work-related content. And as I mentioned in the assignment guidelines, a podcast is actually an ongoing news, radio, variety show, or some other recording that can be subscribed to and or downloaded using an RSS feed. And RSS basically stands for Rich Site Summary, but it's also referred to as really simple syndication. But this allows a podcaster or some other creator to syndicate or distribute content on the web for anyone to be able to access. So your audio recording can be on any topic that you determine to be meaningful. You should also have a deliberate purpose to your message and start by developing a script so you know exactly what you're saying. And this also helps with some of the language crutches that we always have that tend to detract from our message. Determine the software or program that you want to use and almost all current computers, whether it's Mac or Windows, comes to standard with some type of recording software. Um, you can use GarageBand, which is good for Mac, and that's what I use for all of my recordings. Uh, Windows, you can use Audacity, um, and that's something that you download. It's a free program and it's accessible for Mac or it works with Mac and or Windows based computers. And it's, it's good to use for this particular assignment. And when recording, pay attention to the quality of your audio. You can find a quiet location, check the volume levels, record a few brief takes, and then listen back to your recording. Make sure that you make any necessary adjustments. You don't want to lose unnecessary points because you didn't check the quality of your recording. So don't just use your phone and think that that quality is okay and post that up. If it's not quite what you want, 
you can use some more programs, some free programs that are available to edit the audio, whether you're including some introductory music or taking out some of the unwanted sounds. You may also need to improve the outcome with some editing, so keep that in mind as well. Expensive equipment is not necessary. You can create an acceptable quality recording using your smartphone or computer, but you need to practice a few times to make sure that that quality is acceptable. And when you're done recording, save your audio to SoundCloud. If you don't have a um, subscription to SoundCloud, you'll have to get one. It's easy, it's free, and it's basically the YouTube of audio. Simple to use, easy to post, easy to share. After saving your audio to SoundCloud, uh, post the link to it in the Moodle form so everyone else in the class can be able to access and listen to your audio recording. A link must also be included in your digital portfolio, so determine the best location within your digital portfolio layout to include your recording. Again, read through the assignment instructions and guidelines completely before starting and finishing your audio recording, and let me know if you have any questions on that. The next assignment is your reading connections. Choose one of the articles and complete the assignment following the guidelines. Remember, your response to the guiding questions should be thorough. They should display a graduate level quality and uh, follow APA formatting guidelines. Don't just simply type the first thought you have. Take some time, think about what you're actually writing down. Remember to cite any articles that you use and include a full reference list on a reference page. Also, practice developing section headings within your response. Rather than just answering the guiding questions in an ongoing essay style, make it easy for the reader, which is me, to follow the pattern of thought, to organize your paper, um, helps you and me to focus on the core topics one topic at a time. As included in each module, there's also a cloudy thoughts form, just in case you want to share anything regarding this week's expectations. And that's just about it for this week. I can't emphasize enough the importance of working during the week and increasing the level of attention and quality to all of your assignments.